Have you ever wondered if there could be another Earth out there in the universe? The year was 2014 when the Kepler Space Telescope, a NASA observatory orbiting our own sun, stumbled upon an exoplanet named Kepler 186f. This discovery was not just another celestial body, it was one of the most Earth-like exoplanets ever found. Kepler 186f is nestled in the constellation Cygnus, 500 light years from our home planet. It orbits a red dwarf star, a type of star smaller and cooler than our sun. Despite receiving only about one-third of the sunlight Earth does, Kepler 186f sits comfortably in the habitable zone. This Goldilocks zone is just the right distance from its star, where conditions might be perfect for liquid water to exist. Indeed, Kepler 186f is a fascinating discovery that brings us closer to answering the question, are we alone in the universe? So, how does Kepler 186f compare with our home planet Earth? Well, let's start with the basics. Kepler 186f is only slightly larger than Earth with a radius that's about 10% larger. Now, you might think, 10%, that's not much. But when you're dealing with planet-sized objects, that 10% can make a huge difference. In terms of density, Kepler 186f is pretty similar to our planet. This suggests that it might have a rocky surface like Earth, rather than being a gas giant like Jupiter or Saturn. Now here's where things start to get interesting. Kepler 186f orbits its star, a red dwarf, every 130 days. That's about a third of an Earth year. Imagine having a birthday every four months. But it's not all fun and games. Because Kepler 186f's year is so short, and because it orbits a red dwarf, the amount of energy it receives from its star is only about a third of what Earth gets from the Sun. That could mean colder temperatures and a dimmer sky. Yet despite the lower energy, Kepler 186f sits comfortably in its star's habitable zone. This is the region around a star where conditions could allow for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. And as we know, where there's water, there's the potential for life. With all this in mind, it's clear that while Kepler 186f shares some similarities with Earth, it's also uniquely different. Its year is shorter, its star is dimmer, and its climate could be colder. But the fact that it's in the habitable zone, that it's similar in size and density to Earth, and that it could potentially have liquid water on its surface, these factors make Kepler 186f a fascinating object of study for astronomers and astrobiologists alike. While Kepler 186f isn't exactly Earth's twin, the similarities are intriguing. And who knows? Perhaps one day, we might find that this distant exoplanet is more like our home than we ever imagined. Given these similarities, could life exist on Kepler 186FF? Kepler 186FF is an alluring prospect in our quest to discover extraterrestrial life. Its size, comparable to Earth's, and its location in the habitable zone, where the temperature is just right for liquid water to exist, make it a prime candidate for this search. Imagine this, a planet where water, the essential ingredient for life as we know it, could flow freely on the surface a planet that could be home to a diverse array of life forms adapted to thrive in conditions both similar and alien to those on Earth. A planet where new ecosystems, new species, and new wonders await at every turn. However, there are still many unknowns that need to be addressed. We don't yet know the composition of Kepler 186F's atmosphere. Could it be rich in nitrogen and oxygen like Earth's, fostering the development of complex life forms? Or is it filled with noxious gases, hostile to life as we know it? The surface conditions of the planet also remain a mystery. Are there oceans and continents, or is the surface a barren wasteland? These questions underscore the challenges in determining the potential for life on Kepler 186f. But they also fuel the curiosity and passion of scientists who are eager to uncover the secrets of this distant world. The search for life on Kepler 186f is a tantalizing prospect that continues to captivate scientists. But what would it be like to live on Kepler 186f? Let's dive into the challenges. First up, its star. Unlike our Sun, the red dwarf star Kepler 186f orbits is known for frequent solar flares. These flares are not only more intense, but more frequent, potentially delivering harmful radiation to any life on the planet. Next, let's talk about the possibility of Kepler 186f being tidally locked. This means that one side of the planet, 
always faces its star basking in perpetual daylight while the other side is shrouded in eternal night. This could lead to extreme temperature variations that would make living conditions quite challenging. And let's not forget about the length of the year, with an orbital period of about 130 Earth days, the seasons and climate patterns on Kepler 186f would be vastly different from what we're used to. Life on Kepler 186f would certainly be different from what we know on Earth. What does the future hold for our exploration of Kepler 186f? As we stand on the threshold of a new era of space exploration, our curiosity about Kepler 186f is only growing. It's a tantalizing glimpse into what might be out there in the vast cosmos, a beacon drawing us into the unknown. Future missions, like the much-anticipated launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, promise to unlock even more secrets of this distant world. With its revolutionary technology, the Webb Telescope will allow us to peek behind the cosmic curtain, providing more detailed information about Kepler. 186 F's atmosphere, surface, and potential for life. Imagine the thrill of detecting signs of water vapor in the atmosphere of Kepler. 186 F, or spotting the telltale signs of geological activity on its surface. Each discovery, each piece of data, is another step towards answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? But the Webb telescope is only the beginning, as technology continues to advance, we may one day send probes to Kepler 186F or even man missions. The challenges are enormous, but so is our spirit of exploration. The journey to Kepler 186F represents more than just scientific curiosity. It's a testament to our enduring desire to push the boundaries, to seek out new worlds and new possibilities. As we continue to explore, who knows what other Earth-like worlds we might discover.